Welcome to DevOps Dialogue by Dell. Today, we are going to discuss how to manage your PostgreSQL database using cloud native PostgreSQL, CNPG. So CNPG is a Kubernetes operator that helps you to manage many aspects of your PostgreSQL, even if you are not a diehard uh, PostgreSQL administrator. So this is a level five operator, meaning that it will deal with uh, lifecycle management of your database, gonna give you metrics and observability. It will help with uh, scaling your app, making backup and more. In nutshell, it really helps to deploy Postgre within Cube, blazing fast and HA. So when you have to implement high availability within PostgreSQL, the usual pattern is that you have a, an instance that is a primary, that's gonna get all the writes and reads, and you may have like one or several standby instances that gets a copy of the data on the fly. Usually, when you deal with stateful app within Kubernetes, you will use stateful sets. And to deal with multiple instances, you're gonna have replica sets. Kubernetes manage state full set in a certain manner. More importantly, it deals with it in an ordinal way and gonna make sure that things happen in a certain order. The thing is, when you do these phases of failover and failback, you don't really know if the index zero will be the active or passive. And so CNPG here will basically erase and what will not use, won't use the stateful set and replica set. And they will be replaced by a custom resource named cluster. So within my cluster, I will define the number of replicas that are needed. And this cluster custom resource is also the one that's gonna manage the token who is active from the pods with the primary and also from the different service services to ensure that at any point in time, automatically, no matter the state, you always point to the active instance. Using this cluster custom resource, you can manually promote one instance to become primary, or even if there is a failure, automatically, cluster will promote the standby as a new primary. Another super important aspect of databases are, of course, storage and persistent persistent the data. So directly from my cluster CR, I can define uh, storage classes and PVCs for my so-called data. So I will have my PVC. By default, one PVC can be created for my data file or my DB, and also for my write-ahead log. Super important here. WAL, write a log to ensure the durability of my, uh, of, my, of my database. Another little twist that gives us uh, CNPG. Even though I have one pod having multiple pod, PVCs, sorry, it will manage it as a PVC group to guarantee the app consistency in case we move things or we protect it. So that's great. I have my edge in place. And I just mentioned that we want to protect it. And so to protect my data, my database, within PostgreSQL, you have multiple ways of doing this. You know, most common is to do a PG dump. That is basically a replay of all the statements to create my data, my database. You can also use the things named PG base backup. This one is closer to the OS and will create an archive basically of all the data files and with everything that's needed to quiet my app during that copy and archiving. And you can also use storage snapshots. Snapshots. Namely, CSI storage snapshot when you are in Kubernetes. There are always trade-offs using something close to the app versus something close to the hardware. CSI snapshots are super snappy. If you dump 
you can you are more close you are closer to the point in time the recovery so it, it really depends your constraint and what you need to do to manage all of this again cnpg offers us a custom resource named backup or schedule backup when you need to schedule it at regular pace if you are using Dell, Dell Storage is Dell Data Protection, uh, and you are opting for this type of archiving, you can ship all the archives and files within an object store named ECS. Every Dell Storage supports CSI driver with CSI snapshots. And likewise, you can leverage uh, archiving technology, data protection technologies, such as PowerProtect Data Manager or Data Domain to really make these snapshots immutable, exposing to the vault, isolated, and safe. The last thing I want to touch upon here is something we all love with PostgreSQL, the extensions. So, PostgreSQL is very mature database, SQL database, and a great ecosystem to uh, enrich the experience. So let's say I have an AI project today and I need to store uh, new vectors. I can install my PG vector extension. I need to deal with geographical data. I can install PG GIS. Yep. You have time series. To track, you can install the time scale extension. And so here the idea is you're gonna start from the CNPG Postgre image. CNPG Postgre. Add it your requirements, build your image, and publish it to a container registry. Once you have this one, CNPG offers another CR named Image Catalog, where you can refer to your enhanced PostgreSQL image and distribute it to your users. Thanks to lifecycle management, you can also deal with upgrades and maintenance period. There will be many, many other things to discuss and deep dive with regards to HA, storage, and CNPG PostgreSQL. Um, stay tuned for more updates 